and welcome to your Go Market Update. As we are in the midst of the Asian session, welcome to your update charts of the day for the 2nd of June 2023. Happy Friday to you all. I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. Let's just check out on news today. Of course, overnight, we all know that there's a strong session on Wall Street after that debt ceiling deal passed through the House. Now, of course, it's got to get through Congress before that deadline day of the 5th of June. No harm from the data last night. We did have some jobs data come out, uh, but that wasn't too hot. Uh, the Fed's thinking may have changed. The narrative seems to be slightly different in that when they meet in June, the thinking is now that they are as likely to pause as they are to raise by another quarter of a percent and may well do that, see how the data comes and make a decision in the July meeting. Uh, US futures are mildly higher in Asia and Asian markets are following that strong US lead. ASX has a 0.3% gain. Very mixed session sector-wise, materials and IT outperforming. European futures are pointing to a positive up and the VIX has dropped to lows not seen since September 2021. US dollar index pulled back from recent highs and consequently commodities had a good day. Saw gold move higher towards a key 1978 level. Copper was also higher slightly uh, and looks as though it's recovering to some degree. Water 375 on that level and all bounced strongly off support and is positive again in Asia today. Bitcoin remains towards the bottom of the range and really the only data of note today is the big one. It's the non-farm payrolls in the US, the monthly jobs number. Um, that could be the determining factor as to what the Fed action is in a couple of weeks' time. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. It's been a good day for the Aussie US. You can see here on the four-hour chart, we breached this key level at 65.45 through the night. If you look at what's happened on the hourly chart, uh, you can see it just pulled back a little bit towards the back end of the US session. And then since Asian Open really has powered forward and upwards, uh, looks as though it's still got some legs in this. Uh, in the short term, you expect maybe another 25 to 30 pips up to 66.36. Uh, but this move up to 66.60 looks important. Now it's breached that 66 level. Uh, it looks as though the buying pressure is going to continue. You can see the buying pressure over the last couple of hours on this particular pair. On the ASX, we're actually quite liking LYC, Linus Corp in the rare earth space. You can see how important this level is around about 760, which is tackling again today. It's been trading around this level really for the last week. We like this even more if it breaches the high from last week uh, and perhaps that uh, 200 EMA that you can see sitting there at 774. Uh, a break of that would certainly indicate a strong change in sentiment and may see us up to around about 850 in the medium term. So one to keep your eye on. Uh, don't think it's going to do it today, but certainly keep it on your radar Monday. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.